Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. Today we are doing a pretty interesting little challenge run all around different champion based items from different mods. We of course have the champion belt here which is going to increase our champion chance and give us a bit of damage. We've got the purple heart which is just going to increase our champion chance again. We have Fittus Fortunus from Something Wicked which is going to give a 33% chance for killing a champion to drop a random pickup. Um, we have the Eucharist and you'll see why in just a moment. And then lastly we have Adaramlich, Adaramlich Fury. I don't know how to pronounce that. Adaramlich Fury. And this is pretty interesting. So basically this is an active where we charge it by killing marked champions. It's going to increase the chance for champions as well. Um, and yeah, bosses and marked champions will give us charges. Each charge can give us a small all stats up, but we cannot have any other items. If we pick up an item, it'll just give us charges. The only items we can get is angel rooms. And using it once it's at max charge will give us a pretty interesting um, little devil deal room. So we can pick up this, for example, and you see it just turns it into stats. Pretty interesting idea. Um, and yeah, I've gone with the Eucharist so that we can guarantee some angel deals. And uh, basically it means that we'll only ever have angel and devil items. That was a bad hit off the bat. Yeah, we'll only ever have angel and devil items. But you can see this enemy here has this little fire on him. When we kill him, he will drop um, He'll drop himself a little fire that we can go and pick up. And that will charge up our active and give us some stats. So we get two little fires and you can see that the charge is there applying. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. So... As you'll see in, uh, once we get to our item room, though, we can't pick up regular items. This is kind of a bit of a challenge, and I've just gone for the whole theming of champion enemies. I've literally gone, like, whole hog on everything being a champion, because I think it's pretty interesting. And, as I said, with, like, Fittest Fortunus, we have a few different modded items that um, can show off, like, th that sort of work around champions. I think that's kind of cool, so I thought, why not show that off alongside it? Um... And it just means more chance to get our charges up. And, it, yeah, it's, it's going to be a really interesting way of playing. I, at, at first, I did do a test run of this, and just without Eucharist, the amount of items you get just isn't quite the best. Um, so I, I thought with Eucharist, it'd make it just a little more viable, a little more interesting. So we're giving that a go now. Thank you for that. And it seems as well, from what I've noticed so far, the higher the enemy's HP, the more of the little fires you get from killing them. So bosses specifically are really good for that. If you kill a boss, um, you'll get a lot more fires than killing little champions. We do want to go back and find our item room, but I really like the fact that we get this scaling all stats up. And you can actually see as well that, especially luck, you gain a lot and a lot of luck. As for the question of the day today, though, just something basic. What have you? What was your last meal and how did you enjoy it? What did you do? What did you eat? Was it something that you were looking forward to? Something you made yourself? Something you bought? Or something you didn't really enjoy? Let me know. I'm always interested. Uh, food? Food is my life. I, I like everything is food. Ooh, what the hell's this thing? Slugman. He gave us a, he was a champion though, so that was good. Little slug man. So at the minute, we're about, you can see as well, not every champion will have this mark above its head. But you can see at the minute, we're at about like one third charge. So it does take a decent amount of time to charge. But as I said, as the enemy's HP goes up, um, you get more and more fires out of them. Like this Clotty um, didn't give us much, but this guy should hopefully give us two. I don't know. These guys haven't got a lot of health actually, so maybe not. But you'll kind of see what I mean as we, as we progress through the floors. Yeah, that guy gave us two. Good, good, good. And we can come over here and go into our item room. And that's kind of sketch. Kind of sketch. We can grab the item, even more charges. So it seems that we're, we're probably going to be getting around around half to three quarters of charge per floor. And then obviously we can use that to get into the devil deal. Now we won't be getting an angel deal on our first floor here, of course. Um, but... Later on, we'll be getting some angel deals alongside. I think this is a secret room here, so let's try that out. Got a lot of bombs to work with, so why not? Unfortunately, pennies that don't heal or give me soul hearts. Ah, one thing to note, though, as you just saw there. I ran into this while testing, and I wasn't sure what was causing it. But there's a weird bug with one of the mods I'm using, and I'm unsure which it is. Um, there's a lot of charges there, so as I said, about three quarters. There's a weird bug with one of the mods I'm using, and I'm not sure which it is, that keeps making the bosses spawn, like, literally right on top of the door. And I don't know if it's maybe one of the items I'm using, or one of the mods, or I'm, I'm really not sure what it is, but we're going to have to deal with that. Um, and as you can see, obviously, I didn't even mention it, but we're playing as the Lost, and I decided to play as the Lost. Because we have Holy Mantle, it means it's a little harder for us to lose our charges. Because as you read with the description of this item, if you get hit... You negate the damage, but you lose some of the charge progress that you currently have. Oh, we get to kill some bosses here. 
or we just get a free item. Okay, fair enough. I was expecting to have to kill the bosses there. Um, yeah, so in that regard, it was uh, it was better to be the Losts because then we've got a lower chance of getting hit and losing our progress, essentially, which I thought was better. We are nearing a charge, though. I think we might be able to, to, to try it out by the end of this floor, which is rather nice. This item could even top us over. We've got this room again. Careful. Nah, not quite, not quite. We are very nearly there. Dude, there's a TNT on the door. What's going on? <laughs> something's funky right now. Something's not something's not right. Things are spawning on the door when they shouldn't be, and I don't know why. What's happening? I, but what, basically, what I'm guessing it is, is for some reason, I'm entering the rooms at the wrong location, and it's causing issues, because that's exactly what just happened there. So I think we've got enough charge now, by the looks of it. So let's let's kill these guys, and then we'll uh, pop our active and see what's going on with it. Boom. Okay, no, it's not quite charged yet. I did just try and pop it, but it didn't it didn't work. I wonder if we can overcharge it. Okay, there you go. Now it's charged. Right, so we pop it. We get taken to a special devil deal. Um, while the cap race is active, plus one damage. Um, speed and block the first damage taken each room. That's pretty good. We'll take that. Um, and then we got Gimpy here, which we don't really want. Really. We got Leviathan, just to speed up. Okay, and what the hell's this thing here? There's like a fire in the middle here. Can I bomb that? we got some black hearts as well. Probably should have used the Soul of Isaac on uh, the Caprice as well. I don't even know if the Caprice is going to do anything for us. Because it said while active, but it's not an active item. So I'm unsure what that means. We've got this little scale here as well. Unsure what either of these things actually do, but... Eh, oh well. We can come in here and uh, grab ourselves an item to charge ourselves up a little bit more. So as you can see, now that we've... Um, yeah, it happened again, look. Now that we've uh, used our active, we... Um, we are back to lower stats again. You do lose the all stats up once you go back down to uh, zero charge. But that kind of means that we've got like a, a decision to make whether we need the stats or whether we want to try and get a few devil items. But it seems that we're going to get two devil items each time. And I don't know if that Soul of Isaac's going to be there every time, but it would be nice if it was. That's a good amount of charge there. And we get our first angel deal that for some reason costs. Um, what we got going on here is I think we want to be taking this item here. So we'll actually get this item, right? Yes, we do. We do. That's nice. Um, that would have been nice to grab. I didn't know. I, I wasn't expecting to need money uh, coming in here, so my bad, I guess. But we got one item there. That's decent. And we'll keep on going down. But yeah, I've got to be really wary about these boss rooms because uh, they're going to cause some issues for us in just instantly taking damage. Which, yeah, not not a big fan of that. Ooh, not a big fan of that either. We did just get ourselves Mustard Seed, though, which is rather nice for creating some champion enemies on occasion. What's in... Uh, create some, sorry, familiars on occasion. But what's interesting, what I was trying to say is, those familiars can also be champions, I believe, which can then also drop us what we need to uh, to level up our actives. That's, that's pretty nice. Do you know what? I'm going to bomb you because you're quite an annoying enemy. But you see, that guy had higher HP, so he gave us a lot, lot more uh, charges. So, as you can see, now that we're getting onto these later floors, we're going to be able to charge about active even faster. That's exactly what we're looking for. Chill out, dude. Chill out. Dude, this guy's going to drop, like, two or three. He has a lot of health. Yeah, he dropped three. Amazing. Ooh, a golden penny as well. Now all the money comes in. It was earlier that we needed it, game. This guy's the one that splits. I don't particularly like that. But I wonder if there's like certain types of champions that are better to look for. Really? It's clearly secret room in it. Bloody three explosions right next to the door. A bag of blood as well. Thank you. Some soul hearts. Unfortunately, don't particularly need those. Yeah, I like, I like this idea. I mean, I, I like the challenge of champion enemies, of course. Dude. Like, okay, so that's that's just that's just clearly some absolute BS, because it spawned... It, it's not it's not just that I'm spawning on the wrong door. That literally spawned the boss. Literally spawned the boss on the door and then moved it away from the door. So some something's going on. So I did just lose some charges there. 
Oh no, that was my Caprice actually, so I've even got more protection. So I've got Holy Mantle and Caprice giving me protection each room. Pretty goddamn good. That's a lot of fires, oh my god. And then our Angel deal. Yet again is going to cost us, at least we got that. Unfortunately we don't know what we're buying here, so I guess we just gamble. Divine Intervention isn't the best, but... Yeah, this is one of the things that, one of the issues I have with God Mode Achieved. It, it does a lot of weird stuff. It, it's an interesting mod, I think it's actually pretty cool, but it does a lot of weird stuff um, that just isn't regular for Isaac. Um, like having angel deals that just require a bunch of money, um, which I'm not a massive fan of. The good thing is though, we have the Eucharist, so now we can go back in and buy another item. So, in that way, kind of nice. Unfortunately, we got an active in that regard there. Hopefully, we can get another fifth, another 10 cent there and buy the other item as well. See what that is. Oh, dude, that guy's like, sucking me in so hard. What the hell? Okay. I want to try and clear all my rooms here just to get as many charges as I possibly can with these different champion enemies. I wonder if this guy's going to drop a ton of souls because he's multi-segment. No, he didn't. I had a feeling he might, but I was also very accepting of the fact that that might not happen. These chest monsters are also very strange. Oh, they're my, they're my friends now. A sticky nickel? That's halfway there, baby. Whoa, whoa, we're halfway there. I've not really seen any crazy drops from champions yet in terms of uh, Fittus Fortunus. Two of the same pill, I have to take it. Not oh, really. <laughs> bit depressing. A little bit depressing. I always forget what these guys do, but three extra charges is nice. I don't think I'm going to get enough to finish it off this floor. But I will do this to give it a go. That was really goddamn stupid. And not, not only was it stupid, I then decided to, to continue on with the room. Dude, that is a lot of charges. Wait, can I just do this and get out of there? Dude, that's so annoying that these items are... Really? Really? I got Leviathan. Oh, Sickle Cell's pretty good, though. And I can take the Soul of Isaac out, I guess. Yeah... The, the, the Curse of the Blind there made, made for problematic problems. We, we've got two items that give us flight now, which is a little annoying. But the Sickle item, the Sickle item is pretty goddamn good from what I remember. Piercing and bleeding on every shot is uh, not something to turn our nose apart. And we did get enough money to buy the third Angel Deal item. So let's see if it's not another active, please. It's not. We've got Angel Wings, which also gives us Seraphim. <laughs> what does the Angel Wings do? Um, range and shot speed gives flight, but the flight is removed for the floor after three hits. So we, we've, we've got three different items. Three different items that give us flight right now, which is <laughs> pretty absurd. Actually, no. Technically, Leviathan and... Ooh, we got a um, planetarium here. Technically, um, Leviathan and the, uh, the, the angel transformation also give flight. So we've got flight and weather lost. So we have flight from six different places right now, which is... Absolutely ludicrous. <laughs> Absolutely ludicrous. So we know that this won't actually give us uh, bosses here. I'd rather actually fight the bosses for the extra charges, but unfortunately, we, we don't get to be so lucky. But we now have uh, bleed and piercing, so combat just got a decent amount easier, which is nice. Oh, damn, this guy is uh, a tricky bastard. A tricky bastard indeed. There's our planetarium. Lovely. Those guys were walking over the walls. Unfortunately, Planetarium isn't super useful for us because it's just uh, an item charge, sadly. But thank you for your uh, thank you for your thoughts and prayers, I guess. We are getting to the point now where we are getting a lot of charges per champion, though. So things are going well in that regard. Ooh, we got a 98 cent item use thing yet there. Ooh, that guy's kind of crazy. Another item there. We're getting a lot of items that are working in our favor here. We're almost, almost, I think we're over half a charge already, actually. Which is kind of insane. 
I'm liking this a lot. We've got enough money as well for a buy a shop item. Although I'm going to save it for the angel deal this time around just to make sure. Um, oh, this is all three items. Okay. This is even more charges. Lovely. You get a decent charge out there. You get about 10% off of an item, which is not bad. It's not the greatest, but it's not bad. Beautiful. Yeah, I think we're, uh, I think we're getting more charges here. Um... Out of the fact that we are downgrading enemies into our own familiars. And that's giving us extra fire charges on occasion. I don't know why, but it is. Because some enemies that aren't champions are dropping these fire charges. Which, yeah, I, I quite like. I'm down for. No, thank you. I'd like my purple heart back. This is like the only time I'll ever actually use purple heart, by the way. Like, who, who on earth ever picks up purple heart? Just one of those trinkets that's just like, it exists, I guess. But why? Is that enough? That's not quite enough. This should be enough, though. There you go. Okay, we pop this again. And we'll take that. Thank you. And we'll Soul of Isaac on this. And you know what? I'm Soul of Isaac again because I don't like that either. We've got Spirit of Denial here, which is pretty good. We'll take that. And we'll get out of here. Spirit of Denial. Going to give us some reroll opportunities, which is nice. We got a Luck Penny there. Right, we got our boss, who this time didn't hurt us instantly. He did spawn near the door, but so did a TNT barrel for some reason. This game's just kind of rude, really, isn't it? Dude, dude, that guy uh, smashed me pretty hard there. Let's be a little careful, shall we? Oh, no, I knew that was going to hit me. I knew that was going to hit me, because that always hits me. But luckily, we have the Capri, so we didn't didn't die. Mr. Dolly, I was going to say it's pretty good. Can't take it, doesn't matter. Um, we got ourselves Holy Bombs here, which is interesting. Bombs will spawn temporary Holy Aura. It's kind of nice. Uh, explosion immunity while standing in it. There's no enemies close to the bomb when it explodes. We'll also release Holy Beams. Ooh. And then we got flight again, if we'd like more flight. But we can also come over here and uh, use our denial to reroll. One health up. The player leaves a pink puddle when receiving damage. Enemies touching the pink puddle are charmed. Um, charmed enemy is killed. It explodes and charms all nearby enemies. While that's not useful for us right now, I'll go for that. I'm pretty interested in that for potentially showcasing with another character, though. That could be an intriguing idea. Right, one moment. I'm going to have to pause real quick. Right, let us keep going. This has been fun, though. I've liked I've liked what we've got out of this. It's a weird run. We've not got a ton of items, but we've been able to make it work. I'm really liking the spirit of denial giving us rerolls on occasion. It's nice. Get these little dagger gems. We've got a lot of things to pick up at the end of each room at the moment. <laughs> we really do. I love that. Oh, damn, this guy's going to spew out a lot of fellas. I kind of expected to get more fires out of him because of that, but... Oh, well. Put the Empress up, why not? Get a bit more damage for this. Very careful of these little dudes. Try and get my gems. Ah! Hypercoagulation. Not the best, but we can try and... Actually, to be fair, I said not the best. We'll just pick it up and... It, it becomes... It becomes our active charge, so that's fine. But this is... This is a confusing room, I've got to say. Dude, where did you come from exactly? I think we lost some charge there. I'm very confused where this enemy is right now. Well, that was overall really, really confusing. <laughs> we came out of it alive. That's all I care about. But man, that was a, a roller coaster of emotions right there. Nice. I'm liking these daggers we're firing. Daggers plus sickles. 
Pretty good. You gonna pop your head up, sir? There you go. See how that guy dropped one of those red things even though he wasn't a champion. Interesting. Interesting. Give me all those fires. Oh, another item. Lovely. Uh, we are missing out on some potentially interesting items here, I will say, but overall, I'm liking this idea. Dude, not fair. Not okay. So I can sit in this thingy. Oh, we got crack the sky here. I don't know what's going on. Let me just quickly exit this room and re-enter before I lose any charges for some stupid stuff. Okay, that didn't matter anyways. I could be using my spirit of denial on other things, I realize, but it's just very time consuming for stuff that I don't particularly need. All I want is items. <laughs> I've got enough of everything else. Ooh, now that. That was a good room. The stars I'll just pop now, I think. Oh, wait, what? Planetarium stars. Okay. It's not where I was expecting to go. I always forget the stars does that. If this is a planetarium on the floor, it takes you straight there instead. Something I never remember. And in here... So you see how everything just spawned at the door there and then moved back to where it should be? There's some shenanigans going down here that I ain't, I ain't best pleased about. Some shenanigans I ain't best pleased about. Also, yeah, we're not getting enough fire enemies. What on earth is that thing? I have never seen that enemy in my life, and I am I am fearful for my life. They can hurt me too. What are you? Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't like whatever that is, dude. You guys need to stop, because you can hurt me and I don't want you to kill me. Oh, dude. Two times Sacred Heart. Yes, please. Oh, okay, you've spawned the boss. I can't overcharge by the looks of it. I'm going to let this guy stomp on the boss so he dies. Okay, I lost charge there, unfortunately. Dude, whatever that stompy thing was, I'm so glad it's gone. Okay, we got enough charge here. Ooh, actually, I can Spirit of Denial this into duality. Not not what I was looking for. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, I was thinking I could fucking cheese Spirit of duality, uh, Denial there. I guess we'll take it. Why not? Right. I'm going to use this first because neither of those appeal to me. What we got here? We got Solomon's decent. Uh, 2.5 damage um, and flight after taking damage. Okay, so that's not good. We'll take Solomon here. And then what the hell is that? Um, oh, we, we also want to kill all of these. Um, Fallen Guardian summons a mini f um, Furnace Knight to fight uh, for you, dealing damage on contacts and gets enraged. Yeah, I'll take it. Sounds interesting. Cool. Right. And we go. We, we still count. Yeah. Let's go. Well, we got Sacred Heart. Not only did we get Sacred Heart, we got it twice. So, can't be that bad of a run. Although, our fire rate is absolutely abysmal. I think taking it twice gave me two fire rate downs. Which, yeah, isn't ideal. But, the damage is... Uh, Pretty awesome regardless here, I'd say. Around the world, around the world. Beautiful, getting so many items here. Yeah, again, god mode rooms, having multiple items in item rooms. Strange. Ow, 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 ow. Another one of these slug things. Every time a chest spawns. Because we've got so much luck. So many chests. 
We got a, a little library here. Good for another few items. Oh my god, that guy. That guy had the charges. Beautiful stuff. We keep on charging up. Oh, I, I've got a lot of familiars that seem to be able to hurt me right now, which isn't okay. I don't rate that experience. Oh my god, that guy has so many charges. What keeps hurting me when I walk through doors? One of you is doing something evil to me, and I don't know which one of you it is. Look at all the charges. Oh my god. Look at them all go. It's wild. It's absolutely wild. We got brimstone, baby. And then we'll do this because time gal isn't great. Give me that. So yeah, picking up items isn't even the most efficient way to get charges anymore. It's just from actually fighting stuff. But yeah, Brimstone, Sacred Heart. Pretty good. I mean, our, our, our charge rate is pretty awful. So we've got to deal with that, unfortunately. But look how many charges we get for killing enemies now. Unfortunately, that's when they spawn. Oops, Solomon gave us uh, Infestation 2. Certainly don't mind that. Beautiful. And we are clearing rooms pretty instantly at the moment as well. <laughs> Look at that. It's definitely one of those items that you want later on in a run. Well, a bunch of those just gave us stuff for just not existing, which is kind of pleasant of them. So I guess her mum's foot surely won't spawn on top of me. Although she did stomp her foot down not in the middle of the screen, which is not usual. There you go. Um, I guess I'll take that. Oop, almost went in the wrong door there. And yes, yeah, seven seals is not bad. I guess I'll kill you for the... Um, for the... There you go, the fires. And I get another one of these. Neither of those are very good. I think guess Bag of Bobbies is the better of the two there. And I, whatever this little heart thing is, I guess. Oh, I should have used my Spirit of Denial. I forgot about the Spirit of Denial. Every time I forget about it. Also could have re-rolled my Angel piece as well. I'm, I'm stupid. Okay, so that little heart thing is uh, is beating and making noises. Look at that. The noise it makes just for picking stuff up is, is wild. Okay, apparently I had two holy mantles in that room. I'm not going to question it. We're also at, like, some rooms are just walking in. There's just fires on the floor. Not entirely sure why. Yeah, look at that. There's just like a bunch of fires just in the rooms there. Oh my god, this is wild. This is going further than I thought it would go. What enemy could possibly be left in here? I do not want petrified poop, thank you. We're going to have another charge very, very swiftly here. There you go. Another one. Little brimstone seems like to make sense to me. And then why not why not stay on theme and grab brimstone bombs as well? Oh, I didn't even finish this room. Wait, can you farm the rooms? Also, there is some some glitchiness going on with the uh, the rocks there. Hmm. So if I if I leave a room before I finish it, so I kill this guy. I think I can farm rooms. I'm not going to, because that would just be, for one, quite cheesy, and for two, kind of boring to watch. But it seems like I can farm the rooms by just bombing out of them. What in the ever-living hell 
is that? For one, what is it? And for two, why isn't it dead? <laughs> This is horrific. I, I I have no idea what's going on. And yeah, it's it's been dead a while. I'm guessing it has to play out everything. That last phase definitely didn't look phallic. Right, we got money this time. Um, to encounter a blessed flaw. I guess. Oh my god. And then we can do that. Um, shot speed, damage multiplier. Um, oh, flight again. Mama's foot constantly tries to stomp Isaac. That sounds awful, but I'll take it. Um, entering a room with a pedestal item spawns bloody feather. Okay, no, we don't want that. This is, this is a little, a little too much, game. Like, I knew Mum's foot was going to stomp me, but this is fucking ridiculous. I was expecting it to be like the shovel, not just, here's Mum's foot literally constantly. That's, that, I'm, I'm probably going to die to that, aren't I? Excuse me? Well, that ends that run, but that was a pretty interesting showcase of that. That item is... I, I literally didn't even move on this floor and instantly died. Either way, um, that was a really interesting item, and yeah, we got some pretty cool items. I mean, double Sacred Heart Brimstone is, is pretty wacky. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.